Boom. Salutations. I uh, want to come to you hard with something, all right? And it's just, again, this is kind of this reiterating and taking forward a video that I did a couple months ago that is called the SSP and Mind Control. All right? And in that, I really laid out a lot of things that are part of this technology that is creating a hive mind that is subjecting a lot of people to what I believe are um, these experiences that are SSP type experiences that is actually an attempt to rewrite the narrative of the contact scenario. So this video here is I want to talk about a couple of things that just when I find things that are actually technology that is on the market that backs up more than just this woo-woo conspiracy stuff like you know but the fact I don't want to talk about things that reiterates too much of what I've already went over in the other video but these new things that are just some technology that's coming into the forefront and it's becoming transparent that we need to be aware of all right um, what would be the Neuralink I'm sure everybody's familiar with that Elon Musk is doing and how we're dealing with these different brain to computer interfaces and how that's getting more and more advanced and how they're starting to tie that into hive mind how they're starting to use things like not just nano dust but nano swarms how they can infect your body with these things that's real real serious all right and then start um how actually what um not just Neuralink, but you've got other places like the brain mapping project and well, let me try to get this right um the brain uh yeah, the brain, the brain mapping project. That's another one. They're doing it just like Neuralink is. Okay, that's um, where it gets real, real serious. And there's something else that's called the sentient world simulation. Now, what is that? And that's really a big one. What that is, is basically a virtual world. Trying to model our world virtually in AI. All right, and taking that, taking this a step forward, what Google is doing, Google has teamed up with not NASA and launched something called, this is 2013, called QUAIL, which stands for Quantum Artificial Intelligent Laboratory. <laughs> it's like, wow, okay. And what they're doing there is actually using what is a, a quantum computer, a D-wave quantum computer to run this into um, a simulation but what they're also trying to do is m they're mapping the human brain but they're and trying to hack the human brain but they're also trying to create an AI for Google an AI brain for Google I mean that when I started reading that that really you know people laugh at the Terminator scenario, Terminator scenario but in reality that's a type of sky map they're talking about right there a real one how long Google's been online and how it's got all these clauses into it to actually track people's uh, thoughts and how they're doing things like it's as simple as some of these algorithms we have now and some of these app you know, these apps what they do it's kind of like a, a machine like a um, a gambling machine you pull that lever what it does is it starts up it starts up that serotonin and things and it creates that whole feeling that you get, that hormone you get. And that, um, hmm, that takes us into just another realm of, uh, gosh, I have to look down the name of that hormone. I should have it here. Um, anyway, going back to Google, all right? There's something that Google has that's called Fuchiza, if I'm pronouncing that right. F-U-C-H-I-S-A secret and I'll put that up and what that is is actually part of this mapping of the Google program that they're trying to do there's something else that they also have that's called uh, Plantasia P-A-L-A-N-T-I-A and what that is is remote neural monitoring which is a type of spying you know and that's going into these things with this hive mind and ways they're starting to be able to affect people's dreams and this is where you know they start actually for more or less they're making dreams into um into reality and in that reality into memories so that's that's a whole other thing that's what this technology is actually doing people need to be very aware of this 
and where that that's going on and how it can be targeted for people that are psychics, people that are mediums. This is very, very serious, and you've got targeted individuals that are talking about this a lot. So you've got a lot of people that know a lot more about this than me. Okay, I'm no expert, but I am trying to stay abreast of these things in case, you know, just knowledge is power in that way, and information is good, and we need to all spread this information. Um, uh, the Neuralink is impressed a lot that is the mind-to-mind -mind communication. So that's another one of these... Um, I think that's the main thing. These are just things for you to check out. Look at the pictures, okay? You can research it yourself. You don't need me. But be aware of this and let people know about that. These are things that really exist. That quail program, NASA and Google exist. Them trying to map the human brain and create an artificial brain for Google is real. And it's pretty scary when you start thinking about how much Google has learned in the years it's been running how much human interaction it's had. That's uh, it's really taking things to another level. Um, I, think that, I think that'll do it. Just tie this in with the other things I talked about in the other video, how they use the audio spotlight to actually hone in on people, how they use the God of voice technology, and all these things combined with what you're seeing in transparency I just talked about. And um, it's taking things to another level for the way computers will interact with people, people will interact with each other, computers with each other, and it makes you much more think the Matrix thing is not nearly as far out as it used to be. You know, when I um, was on that show some time ago, and Sophia Stewart was on there, and she had said to me that um, Neo was John Connor. She wrote Birth the Terminator and The Matrix, and they stole that work from her. But uh, she had mentioned to me that Neo was John Connor. I started thinking about it. And she said, think about what happened to Terminators, what happened to us on the outside with the machines. You know, what happened in cyberspace? How did they take over humanity cyberspace? In cyberspace. So that's just things to think about, all right? Going forward with this, I'll put a link up to the SSP video. It's about 45 minutes long. It's got a lot of good information in that one. So I'll link that and just put this with that one and kind of have this as proceeding forward. It's some information that had come across and I just thought it was interesting or important to share it with you. All right. So please subscribe. Please hit the bell. Um, help me beat this shadow ban. Thank you to the people on Patreon. Thank you to the YouTube people that have for, uh, encouraged me to go forward and keep putting this information out. I got much love for y'all. Peace.